Welcome to the 2021 SBE National Membership Meeting and Awards Program. This webcast is brought to you by the generous financial support of these SBE sustaining members. Barn Find, 18 signals, one fiber strand, no compression and at the speed of light. Black Magic Design, leading the creative video revolution. Broadcast Electronics, tomorrow's TV and radio today. Dielectric, trusted for decades, ready for tomorrow. Jampro, when you want more than just an antenna. Catrine, unique experience, individual solutions, reliable performance with a passion to connect. Kintronic Labs, serving the broadcast industry with top quality products and services for over 70 years. Hello and welcome to this special presentation of the SBE Annual Membership Meeting and National Awards Presentation. Due to the cancellation of the NAB show, we are conducting this meeting solely online with a blend of pre-recorded uh, reports and live presentations. Welcome to all of you wherever and whenever you may be attending. As the title of this program infers, we will be conducting our annual membership meeting and then present this year's SBE National Awards, both in a condensed format to limit the length of the program. We are also pleased to have with us today Chris Imlay of Silver Spring, Maryland, our general counsel for many years. Chris has announced his retirement from the role of general counsel this year. I wanted to express our appreciation for his outstanding service to the SBE during his tenure. His wit and sense of humor will surely be missed as he often brought a laugh to what at times were some very difficult conversations. I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce members of the National SBE staff who work on our behalf every day, often sight unseen. Executive Director Jim Ragsdale, Certification Director Megan Clapp, Education Director Kathy O'Rose, Member Communications Director Chris Shearer, Sustaining Member Manager Debbie Hensley, and database manager Scott Jones, and frequency coordination manager R.J. Russell. We know that a number of our past national presidents may be watching, and we recognize all of you, and we thank you for your service. Now for the unscripted portion of the program. The past couple of years have uh, presented everyone with the challenges. Uh, COVID has impacted all of our lives. However, SBE certainly has endured their challenges, but also business for the most part has remained as usual and several new programs have been launched. I'd like to call particular attention to the Technical Professional Training Program and the ATSC-3 certification. While all along SBE uh, webinars have maintained a robust schedule of update and relevant uh, content for the broadcast engineer. The thanks to the dedication of our national staff, our committee chairs, our board members, and your SBE peers at the local chapters across the country that have contributed to the successes and accomplishments of SBE. Virtual meetings have become our way of life, but we can't really replace that fellowship and personal interaction of that face-to-face -face interaction. I am pleased to see that in-person events are coming back a bit slowly, but they're coming back nevertheless. Later this month, we will conduct an Ennis workshop in Atlanta. I hope you can attend if you are in the region. And finally, I thank you for your confidence that you placed in me to elect me as your president for two terms, and I thank you for your support during my terms. It has been my honor to serve.
Now to our required business. Please welcome SBE Secretary Kevin Trueblood, who will deliver his report. Kevin? Since the online membership meeting last October, the Society of Broadcast Engineers conducted executive committee meetings virtually on January 30th and June 21st. The full board met virtually on May 10th and October 11th. The next meeting of the executive committee will take place in January of 2022 on a date to be announced. The full board is scheduled to meet again on April 24th, 2022 at the NAB show. SBE membership on June 30th, 2021 was 4,539. This year through August, 255 new members have joined the society. The society has 115 chapters with 113 in the United States and two in Hong Kong. Members are located in every U.S. state, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Guam, and in 18 other countries. The Society conducted the annual election of six of the 12 directors for the National Board of Directors and three of the four officers this past summer, concluding on August 25th. Those elected will be inducted during this meeting. Mr. President, this concludes my report. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate your work to keep the record of our National Board meetings. Now please welcome our treasurer, Ted Hand, with his report. Ted? At the end of August 2021, SBE had total assets of $1,858,140. The SBE assets include $1,816,322 in bank and investment accounts. The remaining assets consist of $41,818 in office furniture, equipment, and tangible assets. SBE has no debt. Thus far in 2021, the SBE has experienced gains in long-term investments and operating revenue that exceeds expenses. Through August 31st, SBE has had a net revenue from all sources of $441,956, which is more than $282,763 ahead of budget. SBE savings per Society Board approved financial policies are designed for, to maintain financial stability, revenue production, capital improvements, projects that benefit the society membership, and for rainy day needs. This concludes my report. Thank you, Ted. It's great to see that the SBE finances are in solid shape. To bring us an update on this year's membership drive, here is membership committee chair, Steve Brown. Steve? The annual membership drive began March 1st and concluded on May 31st. The theme was Add Power to Your Profession, Join the SBE. Ten companies and the SBE donated prizes as an incentive to recruiters. The drive resulted in 49 new members and they were sponsored by 40 current members. The sponsors represented 30 different chapters. From all the recruiters, one member's name was drawn for the grand prize, which was a trip to this year's SBE national meeting. Unfortunately, with the cancellation of the national meeting, the trip couldn't happen. But our winner, Chris Alexander of Aurora, Colorado, received the alternate prize of $500. Of the 30 chapters represented by the recruiters, we recognize two of them with the Golden Recruiter Award. Like other chapter awards, there are two classes that represent chapter membership above and below the chapter median membership. For Class A, chapters with membership less than the median, the Golden Recruiter Award goes to Chapter 139 of Reno, Nevada. For Class B chapters with memberships greater than the median, the Golden Recruiter Award goes to Chapter 58, Northeast New York. I encourage all members to make it a point to invite a colleague to become a member of the SBE. New members are welcome any time of the year. That concludes my report. Thank you, Steve. The SBE is supported by more than 90 companies that provide products and services to the technical broadcast community. Many of them have been supporting the SBE for more than 25 years. We are pleased to recognize one of those companies that has reached their 25th year of sustaining SBE membership. We are pleased to recognize Shively Labs. I welcome comments.
from Shively Labs. Thanks for uh, working with us all these years and thank you for the award. 25 years working with uh, SBE and Shively Labs. Uh, Sean, we dragged Bob off the golf course long enough to get him here to say hey. Actually on my way to the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. It's, uh, you know, we recognize the value of being a sustained member and appreciate uh, being rewarded with a lovely award for this. Uh, we participate in many different ways. Uh, we've done a lot of work over the years with the NS workshops. Um, Sean can probably go into a little detail on, on how the NS programs work for us. Uh, yeah, that and, and other programs, uh, training programs you offer, uh, webinars and, and that sort of thing are, are, have been, particularly the NS workshop for me, has been a great way for us to uh, share new ideas, share uh, old ideas with new uh, individuals coming into the, um, in, in our case, radio broadcasting. And um, it's just been a great opportunity and, and a, a great group of people every time. Um, and you know, so that's, that's part of what's so special about being involved with the SBE. Some of the, some of the fondest memories I've had working with people at the NS Foundation and, and uh, giving presentations, it's a highlight of my career doing that. That's good, good. At uh, the training programs, uh, Sean and I have both uh, gone through the Certified Broadcast Technicians program uh, quite a few years ago when we were down in uh, Alabama with Larry Wilkins. It's an excellent off-site training programs. Uh, we also appreciate the interest uh, in all of our product in our business with all the members that we deal with on a daily basis and, uh, and at some of the trade shows. NEB hopefully will happen in the spring. We'll be able to meet up with some more people and develop some more future opportunities for talking, meeting, discussing things as, as usual that we do. Um, so thank you for all those SBE members that have worked with us for all the years. Um, Sean and I were talking earlier about the, how this works as an idea exchange and it's great to have that opportunity to offset and, and throw ideas out, get responses back, see what other people do. That's the best part about it and also to keep up on current technologies and that's another piece of that we all are near and dear to our hearts to keep up with where things are at in the current business that we deal with every day. Yeah, we certainly benefit from this relationship. So again, we thank you very much for the award and recognizing us, and we just want to recognize you back. It's a, a great relationship. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Shively Labs for your longtime support of the SBE. The SBE is in year five of its mentor program, the program is open to SBE members and is free. This year, 43 mentors are working with 58 mentees across the U.S. Mentees and their mentors are able to take advantage of quarterly special SBE webinars produced specifically for the mentor program and receive a monthly mentor program e-newsletter. Participants have said how the program has benefited both the mentee and the mentor. Chris Tarr of SBE Chapter 28 in Milwaukee is the chair of the mentor committee. To bring us an update on the latest with the SBE certification program, please welcome certification committee chair Ralph Hogan. Ralph? I want to thank the National Certification Committee and all of the chapter certification chairman for your efforts during the last year, especially those who have made the extra effort to support SBE certification during the continued COVID-19 pandemic. The National Certification Committee will have a meeting later this month to discuss a number of topics since we were not able to meet in person during the October NAB show. Normally this is where I would give you an update on what we discussed during that in-person meeting. Instead, I thought I would give you several updates and one that is upcoming in 2022. Earlier this year, SBE released the ATSC-3 Specialist, a certification subcommittee with help from the 
some key ATSC members have been working on this new certification for a couple of years. If you currently hold a 5, 10, or 20 year level certification, then you are eligible to apply for the ATSC specialist exam. Broadcast engineers are currently constructing next-gen TV facilities around the country and may find this new certification useful to test their knowledge of the ATSC 3 standard. With funding from the Ennis Foundation, the committee has also approved the creation of a new version of CERT Preview. This version will come out during the fourth quarter of 2022 and will be web-based. Future updates will be immediate and there will be not be a program to download to your computer which should alleviate some of the compatibility problems we've had in the past. This concludes my report. Thank you Ralph for your report and your continuing work on the SBE certification program. To keep pace with the changes in technology, it is important for all of us to take advantage of continuing education opportunities. One of the primary purposes of the SBE is to provide opportunities to our members that help to increase knowledge, advance our career in the broadcast and multimedia fields. We did this through the effort of our local chapters and through the National SBE Office. Here is an update on the Society's National Educational Program from Gary Morrow, Chair of the Education Committee. Gary? The Education Committee is proud to report 2021 numbers continue to increase from the previous year. As of September, there's been a total of 1,755 registrants for new webinars, 3,484 registrants from all sources. Those numbers show an increase in new webinar usage from our 2020 numbers of 1,556 registrants, although there's a decrease in total webinar usage with 5,192 registrants from all sources a year ago. The September numbers continue to show we're offering very popular new webinars, in part thanks to Wayne's IP networking series that drew large numbers. This 2021 network series kicked off in January and concluded in August. President Wayne Pacina presented the eight-part series. A new SIP series kicked off in September. It's going to conclude with its fourth module in December. There's multiple presenters for this series. A total of 28 applications have been received since January when the SBE TPT or Technical Professional Training Program kicked off. The goal of the program is to support training of new entrants into the field of broadcast technology. It combines these four elements, member plus membership offering the extensive webinar by SBE collection for a fixed annual fee, the SBE Broadcast Engineering Handbook Reference Book, participation in the SBE Mentor Program, and the SBE Certification program entry-level certification, Certified Broadcast Technologist, or CBT. Due to the early program success, the need to actively recruit members for the TPT program has been identified. Efforts are being coordinated with the Mentor Committee to address the need for new mentors. A 2021 ENDES workshop took place in Harrisburg on August 27th with a total of 39 participants. A workshop is scheduled in GABCON in Atlanta, Georgia, October 23rd. South Carolina has scheduled a workshop as part of their conference January 27th of next year. The Michigan Association of Broadcasters has also scheduled a workshop on March 2nd. New Orleans is interested in an ENDES workshop in 2022 during their conference June 1st through the 2nd of next year. There's also interest in possible workshops in Biloxi, El Paso, and Minneapolis in the coming year. The 2022 Leadership Development course will be taking place in August. Executive Director Jim Ragsdale is working to replace Rodney Vandeveer, the retired professor of organizational leadership and supervision at Purdue University. This concludes my report. Thank you, Gary. Over the past year, I have been honored and had the pleasure to work with a dedicated group of volunteers on the Board of Directors. Each of them has served the Society with dedication and distinction. The 17 members of the Board come from across the USA, 
And in their full-time jobs, they work at radio and television stations, station groups, and industry manufacturers. Serving of, as directors have been Steve Brown, Appleton, Wisconsin, Roz Clark, Clearwater, Florida, Mark Falig, Walnut Creek, California, Kirk Harnack, Nashville, Tennessee, Chad Kyler, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Tom McGinley, Missoula, Montana, Gary Morrow, Saginaw, Michigan, Jason Ornelius, Sacramento, California, Chris Tarr, McGuanago, Wisconsin, Shane Toven, Laramie, Wyoming, Dan Wheely, Waterloo, Iowa, Fred Willard, Washington, D.C., and immediate past president, Jim Leifer of Boston. Serving as officers this year were Treasurer Ted Han from Charlotte, North Carolina, Secretary Kevin Trueblood, Estero, Florida, and Vice President Andrea Cummins, West Orange, New Jersey. All of these directors and officers have contributed tremendously over the past year, and I thank them for their dedicated service. At the close of this meeting, Mark Falig and Chris Tarr will be completing their terms as directors. We thank you for your service on the National SBE Board and your contributions to the advancement of the society. The annual election of national directors and officers was conducted this past summer. More than 950 ballots were cast by your fellow members. I invite SBE General Counsel Chris Imlay to preside over the installation of our new directors and officers. Chris? It's my honor to preside over the induction of our incoming officers and directors. Please welcome the following members who were elected in August to two-year terms as directors. Julieta Ibisheva, Jeff Juniet, Charles Ched Kyler, Geary S. Borrell, David Ratner, and Dan Wheely. You are each about to begin a period of volunteer service as a member of the Board of Directors of the Society of Broadcast Engineers. Please raise your right hands as I administer the oath of office. As a member of the Board of Directors of the Society of Broadcast Engineers, do you promise to follow and uphold its bylaws and canons of ethics to represent all SBE members and otherwise fulfill the responsibilities of a member of the Board of Directors to the best of your ability? And if so, please respond by saying, I will. I will. I will. Congratulations to all of you. Ted Hand, Kevin Trueblood, and Jason Ornelas. You've been each elected by the membership of the Society of Broadcast Engineers to serve the society for the first one year term as vice president, secretary, and treasurer respectively. Please raise your right hands as I administer the oath of office. As an officer of the Society of Broadcast Engineers, do you promise to follow and uphold its bylaws and canons of ethics to represent all SBE members and otherwise fulfill the responsibilities of your office to the best of your abilities? And if so, please respond by saying, I will. I will. Congratulations to each of you. Andrea Kumis, you've been elected by the membership of the society to serve as its president for a first one year term. Please raise your right hand as I administer the oath of office. Do you, Andrea Kumis, promise to fulfill the responsibilities and duties of the office of president of the Society of Broadcast Engineers to follow and uphold its bylaws and canons of ethics, to represent all SBE members and otherwise fulfill the responsibilities of president of the SBE to the best of your ability. And if so, please respond by saying, I will. I will. Thank you and congratulations, Andrea, and to all those elected to serve. This concludes the induction. Madam President, I return the podium to you. Thank you, Chris. I'm honored to have been elected to serve as president of the SBE for our first term. In addition to the officers and six directors just inducted, six other directors will begin serving the second year of their two-year terms today, and I would like to recognize them. 
Steve Brown, Roz Clark, Kevin Harnack, Tom McGinley, Shane Tovin, and Fred Willard. Completing the board is immediate past president Wayne Piscina. The group assembled before you has made the commitment to serve our membership by leading the society. I look forward to working with them over the next year as we work to continue to provide our members with services and programs that develop professional knowledge, relationships, and strengthens careers. Election to the board means a commitment to work throughout the year, not only at meetings of the board, but in between meetings and by serving as a committee chair or a committee member. At this time, I would like to announce the national committee chairs for the 2021-2022 term. Awards Committee, Tom McGinley. Bylaws Committee, Kevin Trueblood. Certification Committee, Ralph Hogan. Education Committee, Gary Morrill. Electronic Communications Committee, Dan Wheely. Fellows Committee, Troy Pennington. Finance Committee, Roz Clark. Frequency Coordination Committee, Ted Hand. Government Relations Committee, Ched Kyler. International Committee, Zulieta Isheva. Membership Committee, Steve Brown. Mentoring Committee, Chris Tarr. Nominations Committee, Roz Clark. Publications Committee, Jason Ornelas. Social Networking, Kirk Harnack. Sustaining Membership Committee, Fred Willard. Technologies Committee, Shane Tovin. I have also appointed directors, Rod Clark and Kirk Harnack to serve on the SBE Executive Committee for the next year, joining the officers, immediate past president, Wayne Piscina, and myself. My thanks to all of you for taking on these responsibilities for the coming year. Each assignment offers an important opportunity to meet our mission of making the Society of Broadcast Engineers an important contributor to the professional lives of our members. Since 1989, the SBE has recognized outstanding achievement and volunteer service by our members and chapters with the SBE National Awards. We applaud the dedication of individual members and chapters that work to make the field of broadcast engineering and the SBE stronger and more effective. Recognizing that achievement is part of the mission of the SBE. Tom McGinley, a member of the National Board of Directors, chaired the awards committee and we thank him and his committee for their work. Award winners were selected from nominations received by the committee. These awards recognize the work and achievement of individuals and chapters that occurred from June 1, 2020 through May 31, 2021. Some award categories recognize two chapters based on their size. Class A represents those chapters whose membership is equal to or less than the national median in 2021 of 26 members while Class B are those chapters which have 27 or more members. Recognize the chapters with highest percentage of members holding SBE certification. Most certified chapter, Class A, Chapter 7, Jacksonville, Florida, Chapter Chair, Craig Butler. Most certified chapter, Class B, Chapter 24, Madison, Wisconsin, Chapter Chair, Matt Momertz, Chapter Certification Chair, Jim Hermanson. Recognizing the chapters with the greatest membership growth by percentage, Class A, Chapter 106, Florida Panhandle, Chapter Chair, Mark Johnson. Class B, Chapter 17, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chapter Chair, Joseph Niffin. Recognizing the highest chapter meeting attendance average, Class A, Chapter 85, Central Western Oklahoma, Chapter Chair, Brian Ryle. Recognizing the chapter with highest chapter meeting attendance average in Class B, Chapter 56, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Chapter Chair Donald Dobbs. Winning the award for best regional or local educational event is SBE Wisconsin chapters for the WBA Broadcasters Clinic, Chapter Chairs, Chapter 24 Chair Matt Momertz, Chapter 28 Chair Chris Tarr, Chapter 80 Chair, Martin Jury. Chapter 112 Chair, Todd Zernitz. And Event Chair, Rich Wood. Winning the award for Best Chapter Communications is Chapter 17, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chapter Chair, Joseph Niffen. 
On behalf of the Society, we congratulate all of these chapters for their outstanding achievements. This portion of our SBE National Awards presentation recognizes special achievements by individual members and one of our sustaining member companies. The SBE Technology Award recognizes an SBE sustaining member company or individual member that has created or used technology to advance the art and science of broadcast engineering. We present the 2021 SBE Technology Award to the Telos Alliance for the IQ's Virtual Mixing Console. Accepting the award is Marty Sachs, Executive Vice President of Sales, Support, and Marketing. Congratulations to you and the Telos Alliance. Hello, SBE members and SBE board. Marty Sachs here with Telos Alliance. I want to thank you for this beautiful award that we've just received from you guys uh, for our IQS virtualized mixing console. Um, what can I say? Um, we were very pleasantly surprised to receive this. And um, a couple things first. I think one is how proud we are to get an award from SBE. You guys have been amazing in terms of moving the state of the art forward in broadcast engineering for decades. Um, I had the good fortune to meet John Battison many, many years ago, your founder, and uh, an amazing guy and just a wealth of knowledge. And um, I could have sat and talked to him for a couple of days straight, I think. But, um, but I think the, the thing that we really want to do is recognize SBE and the work you do and tell you um, how proud we are to sponsor you guys and, um, you know, and, to, to be, uh, and to have our own Kirk Harnack as a part of your organization is very meaningful to us. So thank you uh, for that and for the work you do. And uh, also want to thank you for this award. This award, of course, for our uh, virtualized mixing console, which has uh, be become uh, quite the thing. Um, we've gotten a lot of really great feedback on it. And um, one of the things that makes this particular award very special to us is that we've done a lot of work over the years um, to move AOIP forward. You know, basically, we were the first company to do that. And it was, uh, was kind of hard at the beginning. Nobody uh, really thought it would work. So, you know, here we are all these years later, decades later, and it's working really well. A lot of people uh, clearly uh, believe in it and have, uh, you know, supported the technology. But we were there first, and um, this particular award really, I think, recognizes that because much of the work that went into the IQS started 20-some years ago. So, um, again, very meaningful to us because we've worked hard at it, and you guys recognize that, and that is tremendously meaningful. So thank you again for the award. Thank you for all the work you do, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in person here pretty soon, uh, and uh, hope you and your families are doing well through all the craziness that we've experienced these past uh, year and a half or so. So anyway, take care. Thanks again from all of us here at Telos Alliance. Thank you, Marty. Each year, the SBE encourages all chapters to recognize one of their own with the SBE Chapter Engineer of the Year Award. The National SBE provides a plaque for the chapter to present and publishes photos of each recipient in an issue of the signal. In 2021, 11 chapters selected recipients, and today we are sharing the names of the recipients with you. Chapter 15, New York City, Chris Tobin, presented posthumously. Chapter 16, Seattle, Terry Spring, CBT. Chapter 17, Minneapolis, John Blomstrand. Chapter 38, El Paso, Eli Mendoza. Chapter 43, Sacramento, Dave Sauer, presented posthumously. Chapter 59, Kansas City, Michael Rogers. Chapter 70, Northeast Ohio, James Baird. Chapter 80, Fox Valley, John Fanuck. Chapter 91, Central Michigan, Gary Bleevnight. Chapter 106, Florida, Panhandle, Tom Johnson. Chapter 109, Des Moines, Iowa, Keaton Scoville, CBRE. We congratulate all of these members and encourage other chapters to participate next year and recognize a local member for their contributions and achievements. The Robert W. Flanders SBE Broadcast Engineer of the Year Award recognizes an individual who has made significant contributions to broadcast engineering and has furthered the goals of the society. 
Robert Flanders served many years as Director of Engineering at WRTV Television in Indianapolis and from 1971 to 1973 served as the Society's fifth president. It was during this time that he took steps to professionalize the operations of the SBE, moving the office to Indianapolis and hiring the Society's first employee, his own secretary, to keep membership records. In the mid-1960s, he was also instrumental in creating the forerunner of the SBE Leadership Development Course, which continues today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to award the 2021 Robert W. Flanders SBE Engineer of the Year Award to Chris Tobin of Brooklyn, New York. He receives the honor posthumously. Chris's wife, Lisa Chase, requested that the award be accepted by Kirk Harnack. Lisa also has recorded a short video. I'm Kirk Harnack. Back in the mid-1990s, I met an engineer at ABC Radio Networks in New York City. I met several actually, but one of them impressed me so much that I kept up with him and I met him again a few years later at a different radio network in New York City. And then through my work at the TELUS Alliance, I dealt with this engineer several more times. He, uh, he was always on top of technology. He was always trying to bring the newest and most useful technologies to helping radio stations and the radio networks that he worked with to produce the best possible content. For quite a few years, he worked for a news radio station in New York City, engineering live remote broadcasts from some of the most important events of our time in New York City and outside as well. Then, around 2009, when I started my podcast, This Week in Radio Tech, I asked several engineers to be my co-hosts, and several did. Chris Tarr, Tom Ray, and Chris Tobin. And one of them stuck with me for 11 years and that was Chris Tobin. Chris, well, he was a reliable engineer. You could rely on him not only to show up, but also to always bring top engineering game to the conversation. He put his positions to use and his knowledge of technology and his enthusiasm for technology to use to figure out new ways to use new technologies or even new ways to use older technologies to produce great content to help his customers, that is newsmakers, newspeople, air talent, to make the best possible, most compelling content for broadcast. Chris also was, um, let's say he wasn't afraid of heights. He did a lot of work on uh, the new World Trade Center building. He did remotes from all over the place. He even got into doing television remote broadcasts for the state of New Jersey, for WBGO, and for Telos Alliance and This Week in Radio Tech at the NAB shows. Well, Chris passed away in December of 2020. And it was quite a loss for everyone. I didn't know it until just recently that the Society of Broadcast Engineers decided that they would honor Chris Tobin with the Robert W. Flanders SBE Engineer of the Year Award, awarded October 11th, 2021, Christopher Tobin. To the SBE committees that made this decision, thank you. I certainly think you made the right decision. And uh, I was not expecting it, but what a wonderful surprise. I accept this award on behalf of Chris's wife, Lisa Chase, and also Chris's good friend, Rodney Belazaire. Thank you, Lisa and Rodney, for supporting me and accepting this award on your behalf. This award plaque will be sent to Lisa Chase. SBE and Chris Tobin, what a great combination. And Chris, thank you so much for your tireless work in fantastic engineering being a great example to others. And you may wonder why I'm at this location here. I'm at a Boy Scout camp in Middle Tennessee. It's the Boxwell Boy Scout Reservation. Well, I'm here recording this here because Chris also loved the Boy Scouts. Chris volunteered at a Boy Scout reservation in New York State. And he did a lot of things for them, a lot of technological things, including setting up a Wi-Fi mesh network across the entire reservation. It was quite an engineering feat, and he discussed it on an episode of This Week in Radio Tech. Chris Tobin, I salute you 
Thank you so much for everything you did, and thank you for your friendship. Godspeed, Chris Tobin. Hello, SBE members. Thank you very much on behalf of myself and Chris Tobin's family for the local SBE chapter, New York chapter Engineer of the Year Award and the national prestigious Robert Flanders Engineer of the Year Award. Chris is looking down from heaven with such pride right now as this organization meant everything to him. It represented his roots, his mentors, his mentees, educational opportunities, and friends for life. He loved mentoring eager broadcast engineers and watching them grow and develop their own tricks of the trade. Most, if not all of his friends were SBE members, which really meant that they were family. I'm sure that he's fixing lots of problems up there, rolling his eyes at the engineer who developed it first saying, eh, I might not have done it that way, but I got an idea for this. I used to joke around that his first love was work and engineering and then food. And then of course, then me and his family. For all of you that were friends and colleagues of his, thank you very, very much for enriching his life. And please keep Chris's tradition of perpetuating excellence in engineering in your work and in your mentorship. And just for the heck of it, every once in a while, go to work in jeans, a sports coat, and a very dressy button-down shirt and an SBE cap, just in his honor. So thank you, thank you. This means so much. Thank you, Lisa. The highest honor to the Society of Broadcast Engineers can bestow is that of the membership rank of Fellow. It is recognition of conspicuous service, dedication, and valuable contributions to the advancement of broadcast engineering over an extended period. Since 1970, 85 members of the Society have been recognized by their ascension to the Fellow grade, and we are pleased to add one more to that group. She possesses and regularly demonstrates the skill, attitude, professionalism, and dedication to broadcast engineering that are the benchmarks of an SBE fellow. Our recipient is SBE Certification Director Megan Clapp. Megan joined the SBE in September 2003, working with previous Certification Director and SBE Fellow Linda Bond. Megan was promoted to SBE Certification Director in 2006. During her employment as certification director, the SBE Certification Committee has introduced several levels of certification, including the CBNE, DRB, and ATSC-3. In addition to her certification duties, Megan also provides member and chapter certification support, manages the SBE convention and expo presence, and oversees the SBE store. Nominators stated she was always quick to offer alternative ideas and processes to make the certification procedure more efficient. When the pandemic hit in early 2020, Megan was first to offer alternative to face-to-face -to -face testing. Another said she is the glue that holds the program together. The volunteer committee members contribute their fair share to work, but it is Megan who ensures the work is done in a timely manner. Finally, another commented, I would venture to say that there are a few SBE members that don't know who Megan is, and I certainly consider her contribution to SBE certification program to be conspicuous. Megan's daily contribution to the program should indeed be considered valuable to the advancement of broadcast engineering and its allied professions. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to bestow the SBE fellow grade of membership upon Megan Clapp. Megan, we welcome a few remarks. Thank you so much. This is such an honor to have received this fellow from my peers. Um, I was overwhelmed by the amount of emails and cards that I received congratulating me for this, and it just made me realize how many people I've interacted with over the last 18 years. It's crazy. I'm so glad that we're not doing this in person because if we were, I would be bawling right now. But I know that if we were in person, I would be joined up here with um, my fellow <laughs> fellows. Um, and I know a few of them would be whispering things to try and make me laugh. You know who you are. Just wanted to say thank you so much. I will never be able to express how much this truly means to me, how much you guys truly mean to me. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. 
This brings to a close our 57th SBE annual meeting and national awards presentation. My thanks to all of you for attending. I hope you will plan to be with us again next year when we return for the 58th SBE national meeting in Syracuse, New York. We thank our sponsors whose support made this program possible and to those who's contributed their time and talents to produce this program. The 2021 SBE National Membership Meeting and Awards Program was brought to you by the generous financial support of these SBE sustaining members. Barn Find, 18 signals, one fiber strand, no compression and at the speed of light. Black Magic Design, leading the creative video revolution. Broadcast Electronics, tomorrow's TV and radio today. Dielectric, trusted for decades, ready for tomorrow. Jampro, when you want more than just an antenna. Catrine, unique experience, individual solutions, reliable performance with a passion to connect. Kintronic Labs, serving the broadcast industry with top quality products and services for over 70 years.